Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Pat from Layback Languages. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, uh, what are you waiting for? Do it. It's free, it's quick, it's easy, and it gives me a great hit of dopamine every time I see a little notification with user 1375 has subscribed to your channel. I say, God bless you, user 1375. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. My mission is to help normal, everyday people with jobs, different hobbies, learn a foreign language. In today's video, I'm going to be tackling one of the most um, common questions I get, which is, how long does it take to learn a foreign language? How long does it take to learn a foreign language? Let's analyse that question. What do you mean by learn a foreign language? What does that look like to you? If you're someone who hasn't learned a foreign language previously, this question is a really open one. If you mean how long does it take to master a language and be perfect, that question I can answer. I would say oh, maybe a lifetime, maybe two. It's impossible to speak a language completely perfectly. So get that out of your head straight away. There's no such thing as perfection, especially when it comes to language learning. How long does it take to get to what level? What, what do you mean exactly by that? You have to define your goal. That's the number one thing. When you define your goal, then you have an idea. OK, I know where I'm going, more or less. But unless you know what that actually means for you, it's an issue. That said, let's try and answer the question. How long does it take to learn a foreign language? My question back to you would be, what do your days look like? How much time can you dedicate to learning the new language? I coach and I'm here for people who have normal lives. They have jobs, hobbies, families, other commitments and can't actually spend a lot of time on the language. That's what my method is. That's who my method is geared towards. People who can't afford to sit down for eight hours. We see these videos online of people who learn foreign languages in a month and it transpires that they've spent eight to 12 hours every day studying the language, absorbing the language. Yeah, of course, you're going to be able to learn more of a language than someone who only has half an hour every day. And that's the reality for most people. So how long do you have, how much time do you have to dedicate to the language? That's the question I would ask back. The second question I would ask you, how motivated are you? How much do you really want it? Some people get into language learning, but they don't really have strong reasons to learn the language that they're learning. And if that's the case, it will take you longer. If you have other priorities in your life, which I do personally, I have other interests and priorities other than language learning, it's going to take you longer. And that's OK. It doesn't matter. But it's important that you know that and you recognise, OK, I'm going to learn this language, but it's not my number one thing that I, I do in life. So it is going to take me a longer period of time than if it moved up my list of priorities. The third question I would ask back to you is what languages do you already know? There are so many variables when it comes to language learning. Me, for example, when I started learning Portuguese, I was doing this after having already learned French, Spanish and Italian. Portuguese is very, very close, very similar to Spanish. So for me, being an experienced language learner, number one, and already speaking Spanish and French and Italian, learning Portuguese really wasn't that difficult. It hasn't taken me that much time. However, as I've moved to learning Malay, Malay is a completely different language to all the previous languages I, I know. So it's obviously going to take me a longer time. The words are completely different. The grammar is very different. And those are just some of the factors which come into play when you're learning a language. What do you already know? Are you an experienced language learner? 
And final thing I say to people who ask me the question, how long does it take to learn a language? I say, where do you live? Do you live in the country where the language is spoken? Do you live somewhere completely different? It really depends. We are blessed to have the internet nowadays. So even if you live, say, in England and want to learn Spanish, you can do that. There's no issue. You can learn any language now because the internet has just brought us all a lot closer together. But that said, having the language surround you makes a real difference. This technique is called immersion. You immerse yourself into the culture and you're clearly going to have a, a huge advantage over someone who just simply doesn't have that. They work in English every day, they live in an English speaking country, you're obviously going to have an, uh, an advantage over them. But as I said, it's not essential because we have the internet and we can replicate that environment using things such as radio, podcast, videos, speaking with uh, native people online, speaking with tutors online. It's not that difficult. To conclude, anyone who is asking this question, how long does it take to learn a language? My number one tip for you is to not focus on time. Focus instead on the present moment and be aware of what you are doing at this moment in time. Learn to enjoy the method. Don't get obsessed over reaching a certain level before a certain date. Don't look back and say, oh, I wish I'd have started earlier. Like, of course, ev everyone has this thought when they start learning a language and they think, oh, if only I started three years ago, I'd be, you know, fluent now. Yeah, true, but you didn't. So don't focus on the world of time. Be here, be present and realize, okay, this is when the language learning is taking place and step into and enjoy learning the language. Don't worry too much about the results. The results come and they come randomly. You will wake up one day and realize, oh my God, I'm, I'm speaking my target language. I, I, I speak a second language. What the hell? This is crazy. That's how it happens. It doesn't happen how you think it's going to happen. It happens spontaneously and it's super cool when it does. So get excited about learning. And with that, make sure you find a method that resonates with you. Find a teacher who you get on with, number one, and make sure that the method that they teach is something that's applicable for you and your life. If you want to learn French, Spanish, Italian or Portuguese, check out the links below because I offer courses in these languages. I also offer English, but these videos are primarily for English speakers wanting to learn foreign languages. So please feel free to check out um, my website and the links in the description below. And if what I say resonates with you, book a call. I've got 15 minute free slots uh, for people who are interested in talking to me about really learning a foreign language. So if whatever I say resonates with you on some level, give me a call and I'll see how, how I can help you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.